I hope you all are doing good. So uh, in this video, we are going to talk about CSS effects. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed to my channel, uh, you can subscribe. And uh, so we are going to create something like this and not, uh, we are going to try different things. This is one of the example, which uh, we are going to learn that how we can create and we are going to learn other effects as well. Uh, and if you like more, uh, if you want to add more cargo effect, like preloader or any other thing then you can check out this website uh, and it has uh, some really cool animations so now let's talk about uh, let's talk about the um, how we can create this so first uh, let's start with the basic and here in the basic uh, i have an image and i want that on hovering on this image it should uh, chain, uh, like I want to apply a filter in this so what we can do we can go in the code view and here uh, I have uh, let me uncomment this code so this is uh, uh, this thing is basically for selecting the image and uh, what we want if I remove the hover here you can see that the filter opacity this is the uh, CSS property filter which we are applying that the opacity should be 30% we can make it 80% as well and now you can see the opacity has been increased but we want that it should apply when we hover on the image so, so we can apply the hover pseudo element and now if you see when I hover on this it is changing it mm, let me decrease it uh, so you can uh, find different filter property in this uh, website I will link uh, down below and if you want to add blur filter and you can copy it from here and paste it here now you can see and from here you can change the parameter as per your choice if you want to decrease it decrease the blurriness then you can uh, increase decrease all these things as per your choice if you want to add drop shadow in the image you can add that as well let me increase this so at a time only one effect is applying so you can see that the drop shadow has been added uh, so uh, we are adding this CSS locally so it will be applied only on, on the images which are present in this uh, page if we apply this here which is the global CSS then it will be applied to all the images which are present anywhere in the website uh, everywhere in the website um, but we don't want this so I am remo removing it from here and uh, yeah just keep it here so that it is only applied here now what I want that suppose I have one more image mm, let me make this smaller And if you see, uh, let me just change the filter property first. If you see now when I hover on this, uh, the effect has been applied to both the images. But I want that it should be only applied, uh, this effect should only be applied to this one. So what we can do, we can select that image and uh, from here we can we can go in the code view uh, in the code view you can see the two images this is the first one this is the second uh, you can click on this and after that uh, you will see this code uh, here you can add the class which uh, as per your choice you can name it anything I am going to name it cursor image because I want to target this particular image and what I want that now let me go to the CSS and I want to target this particular cursor image and I want that uh, when I hover on this one it should increase it, it should increase the size uh, so we have uh, one more CSS property which is transform uh, and it is used to transform the image like we can add rotate and 
we can add skew property we can add translate we can add scale property as well to make the image bigger so what we can do we can copy this thing and let me go here and now you can see the image size has been increased uh, we can like one is the default it means that it is the original now we can start increasing the number like we can make it 0.3 now you can see it has been increased we can make it more more larger and now we want that it should be applied on when we hover on this so we'll, we will apply the hover show pseudo element now you can see the image size has been increased now let's see uh, how we can uh, like how we will create this gallery effect so this is also simple uh, like I have added the image gallery and here you can see in the code section I have added I have targeted the image which is media item part media and we are targeting the image and we are adding the hover pseudo element we want that this should be applied on hovering so first I have created added a filter property as you can see uh, like it is changing something in blue like contrast it is changing mm, contrast and brightness to this this percentage now I am add also adding transform rotate property so by uh, and I am adding 360 degree and because of this 360 degree it is rotating and like in a full circle if I will decrease it to one degree then you can see it is slightly increasing uh, rotating let me increase it now you can see it is rotating 17 degree now if you see border radius when I am moving on this the border radius of the image is also changing so I have added the border radius you can change the pixel from here and if you see I have added that transition transform if I remove this thing it is just you can see it is uh, uh, it is uh, the animation is hitting immediately but I want that it should come in a like smoothly that's why I have added this property now you can see you can decrease the number of second here as well like let me make it uh, 0.3 second and if I make it 3 second it will take 3 second to load this animation I hope uh, this thing is clear and transition so yeah that's all for this video uh, I hope you have enjoyed uh, this one and yeah I will link down both this website below so you can uh, choose any of the uh, CSS property as per your choice and if you want to add uh, like some of the more advanced uh, CSS effect you can visit this website as well thank you so much